गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम रेगुलर टाइम फॉर द मॉर्निंग सेशन सो वी हैव बीन वर्किंग ऑन एक्सरसाइज वन ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ एंड वी आर ऑन स्टेप टू यस्टे we talked of step 2 briefly and we were going to evaluate the feeling so in step 1 we were observing the imagination particularly trying to observe the feeling at the base of the imagination and now in step 2 we are trying to evaluate this feeling we are trying to see if this feeling that we are having at any moment is it naturally acceptable to me or not naturally acceptable to me do i want its continuity or do i not want its continuity so you are seeing the imagination and you are also checking or referring to your natural acceptance in this step so those of us who were able to do this step yesterday if you'd like to share your observations or if you have any questions or doubts regarding this step we can take your observations now yeah for many of us we may see the significance of this but somewhere we may have this expectation that others should also be doing this so we may be a little more trying to be more persuasive trying to tell the other again and again of course it may be with the best interest of the other person also but the point is that the most effective method would probably be that we work on ourselves make our competence better and better and as we do that the people around us will be able to note the difference and if they are able to note the difference we don't have to we don't need to ask people can you see a difference in me here somewhere if we are doing that then we are still looking for the right feeling from outside that should not be the reason for our making the effort if we are making the effort within that clarity that i am doing this for my own happiness regardless of what the other person is able to notice or not able to notice of course uh, you know with that um with that openness that if the other is still finding fault in our behavior then somewhere my observation also may have slipped generally what happens is if somebody points out somewhere where we may have slipped we immediately become defensive and start telling the other person you are also like this you also do this and there we are reacting again so a lot of times when the other person is saying something about us also we need to listen with that openness many a time we are not listening so much we are talking more we are telling others what to do what not to do how to be so if we can focus on being that which we are talking about at every moment and also listening to the other person slowly the other person also may be able to see that change and have the you know or will want to know more about it 
So what I'm saying is that more important than trying to get the other person to see what we are doing, is it worthwhile? If I can see what it is for me, that it is worthwhile for me, then I will try to keep my focus on the feeling at all times within myself. Because the moment I have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable, you will notice that you don't want the continuity of this feeling. And with this kind of feeling, when we interact with somebody, we are bound to make a mistake in our behavior because the feeling is the one that dominates. And if we are trying to sort of control the behavior outside, then to the feeling at the base still reflects and the other person will not be able to, um, you know, our expectation that the other should change, that may not happen. So if we say that when the other people change or the other people listen or they also say this then makes me happy, now I have to check. If this is the cause for my happiness, then there may be many others who will not be able to see the change, who will not go as per my expectation. Does that mean I'm going to be unhappy then? So that was just a thought um, that we can notice within ourselves and see where we are. So these are just some examples. Supposing you are being cheated by someone and you're thinking of taking revenge for two hours. And at the end of it, you drop the idea. Now here you can see some action happened outside. Somebody cheated, right? Based on that, you are thinking of taking revenge. And for two hours, you sat and thought about it. At the end of it, you said, Chodo, what has happened has happened, let it be. So during those two hours, what kind of feeling did we have? Feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition? You can answer in the chat. What kind of feeling did we have? Feeling of opposition, isn't it? Now, if you have feeling of opposition, notice, are you comfortable within or uncomfortable within? With this feeling, let me, you know, take revenge, all of that. I'm feeling all of that. So I'm thinking of taking revenge. I'm having feeling of opposition. With this feeling of opposition, am I comfortable or uncomfortable? And we can see we are uncomfortable. So now if we see what is naturally acceptable to us, what was naturally acceptable to us was feeling of relationship. If we ask ourselves this without, you know, this past experience, of being cheated, if we ask ourselves, what is naturally acceptable to me? It is very clear that what is naturally acceptable is feeling of relationship. So when we are not in touch with our true nature, when we are not referring to our natural acceptance, then whatever is happening outside is driving my thoughts and feelings. So it may seem like the feeling is because of the action or because of the thoughts. But that's because I am not referring to my true nature. My natural acceptance may be lying dormant. So the more I start referring to my natural acceptance, the more I am able to see that one can ensure the feeling 
and one can be comfortable at all times regardless of experience regardless of conditioning regardless of act activity outside this is something that we have to try to see within us that feeling that we are having that feeling of opposition whenever we have it we will notice that this is not naturally acceptable and this is making us uncomfortable unhappy similarly if there is a person who has been very helpful and you are thinking of doing some good for that person during that period you have feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition during that period yes you have feeling of relationship isn't it are you comfortable or uncomfortable with the feeling of relationship so you are comfortable so you can see that when you have the feeling of relationship that feeling is naturally acceptable to you and you are comfortable within with that feeling but what is happening here is whatever the activity is outside based on that we are having the feeling even if it is not naturally acceptable to us we continue to have that feeling of course we can't sustain it we do feel uncomfortable about it and then we come back to um, you know if we don't observe that we keep going through this happiness and happiness momentary pleasure momentary excitement and then back to unhappiness and this goes on but when we start observing we are able to have the feeling that is naturally acceptable to us and once we ensure that feeling within then we find we are able to have that happiness regardless of what happened outside so even when we talk of trust in the workshop we notice that before that we may have had so many problems in relationship after we went through the trust after we started trying to live with that we came to know about it then we were able to have the right feeling be able to see that the it is only the competence of the other that is lacking and we were able to be calm and be happy with them so that all of this we'll be able to see if we keep trying to see it within us otherwise it will just be words and otherwise it will seem like you know it is not possible and all of those questions will come up so today we didn't have time to observe for the 10 minutes so maybe we can do an extra 10 minutes during the day we will try to observe this feeling within us and for today we can also do this try to see if we can have this feeling if we can observe within that whenever we have this feeling of relationship we are comfortable within we may have observed it many times but notice now that when things are happening which are adverse outside what is happening within me am i having a feeling that is naturally acceptable or am i having a feeling that is not naturally acceptable so we can try to see that for ourselves okay so we'll continue with this observation today um and then take your observations tomorrow